G'day and welcome. This is an inaugural video. Uh, it's the first of 100 and it's quite a task to take up. But when I was at school, which were quite some years ago now, our textbooks were written by a, a gentleman called Jim Caronius. Uh, he, he wrote some marvellous textbooks uh, typed on his typewriter at home, an accomplished mathematician and an excellent teacher. And after I left school and trained to be a teacher and then I was teaching uh, around 1979 or 1980, I had the great privilege of teaching with him for a short while and meeting with him. A lovely gentleman. I've since met a couple of his students and everything I read about him speaks highly of his teaching and his person. Sadly, he passed away. But one of the great challenges he gave his students was a list of 100 integrals. And I intend, partly in honour of him and partly that I've seen on the internet students discussing them, uh, I'm going to show you how to integrate these 100 integrals. The first one's quite a simple one. It's probably a good place to start. It's the integral on x squared of x on x squared plus 4 dx. Now, if you've watched my previous three videos about how to integrate, the fact that this is a fraction with a function on the top and bottom would make you very suspicious to start with that it could be a logarithmic function. And the first test you would carry out would be to take the derivative of the bottom function, which happens to be 2x, and compare it with the top. And apart from the number 2, that's exactly what we want. Consequently, this is in fact an, a, an integral that produces a logarithm. Uh, if the x wasn't there, we would have a, a trigonometric function, and if other things were there, things would get more difficult. But in this form, it's a logarithm. What would do we want on the top? We want 2x, the exact derivative of this. So I would put a 2 here, and a half out the front to compensate. Half of 2 is 1, so it's just like multiplying by 1. But this inside now is exactly the integral we need for a logarithm. So we have 1 half the logarithm of x squared plus 4 plus c. Or if you prefer, the logarithm of x squared plus 4 over 2 plus c. Some people prefer the fraction in the front, some prefer to incorporate the fraction into the expression itself. Um, that's it. Very nice short start. I hope you have found that useful. And uh, rather than make a number of very long videos, I'm going to make all separate ones. So let's leave it at that. Please leave a comment, like the video, subscribe, and I thank you for watching.